Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you my TBR for the Feel Good A Thon. The Feel Good A Thon is kind of a readathon where the general idea is to just care about yourself and basically promote a for forms of self care. Um, there are 10 reading prompts and 10 self-care prompts that you can kind of pick and choose which ones you want to do and how many. But I will link all of the um, announcement videos by the four hosts down below. For myself, I have a total of five books that I plan to try to read during the first two months of June to hit some of the different prompts for the Feel good -a prompts. The first book it, that I would like to read is the the City of Brass by S.A. Chakrabrody. This is a book that I have had for a very, very long time, but I have yet to actually read. This would fit uh, three different prompts for me. This is one, read a, um, a book that I have really high hopes for. That's definitely this one. Everything I've heard about it feels like it's right up my alley and exactly something I want to read. So I do have a lot of high hopes for it. I'm kind of predicting a five-star read for this book. It also fits um, a book I bought for the cover, which, I mean, look at how beautiful this cover is. I I can't possibly be faulted for that. And then I also, and this also fits the prompt to um, read a book by an author I've never read before. I've never read anything by S.A. Chakraborty. Um, I believe it's her debut novel, so I am excited to actually get into reading it because... I already have the sequel just waiting for me to read the first one, but also just, God, look how pretty these covers are. I have to get through this one so I can read the sequel and be like, these are beautiful and gorgeous and I'm so happy that I read them. The next book on my list is uh, Someone to Trust by Mary Ballow, and this would fit the prompt to uh, finish or continue a series. Uh, this is actually part of her Westcott series, which is a series of historical or Regency romance novels that follow different members of the Westcott family as they all find love. This is the fifth book in the series that I've been slowly working my way through, and it follows um, probably my favorite character in the entire Westcott family, Elizabeth, who... Um, she was married before and her husband was really abusive and then when he died she kind of became, she didn't have to worry about remarrying or any of those other things and so she's just kind of given up sort of on the idea of finding love because she doesn't really need that and so I'm really excited to see her fall for someone who is worthy of her because Elizabeth is amazing and I love her. And then the next book I chose to read is uh, The Duke and I by Julia Quinn, another historical Regency romance novel, and this fits the prompt to reread an old favorite. Uh, I like Julia Quinn's writing a lot, and The Duke and I is the first in her Bridgerton series, and it's still my favorite of all the books of by her I've ever read. This also fits the prompt to read a book featuring your favorite trope, and one of my favorite tropes is fake relationships or... Um, kind of marriage of conveniences types of deal. And in this book, Simon is the most eligible bachelor, but he's very quiet and doesn't really, and doesn't want to be in love, doesn't want to get married. Daphne is very new. This is her first season. And so she and Simon's really good friends with Daphne's brother. And so Di Daphne and Simon agree that they would have a summer romance. And at the end of the summer, Daphne could break up with Simon and she would be the most eligible woman the next season. It's a whole thing. Of course, it doesn't go to plan because they start to fall for each other and then they get married. And it's just, I love this book so much. It's so sweet. And I, 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 I just really like this book and I love the fake relationship trope. It's my favorite. So the next book that I want to read for the Feel Good Athon is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which feels the prompt to read one of the host's favorite books. And Brianna from Coffee Books and Bullet Journals, it's one of her picks, and it's a book that I've wanted to read for a while. So I put it on my TBR for this month. Then the final book for my Feel Good Athon TBR is The Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. This again fits the prompt to read a book I have high hopes for and also another book to also read one of the host's favorite books. Uh, Tish from Little Wolf, this is one of her favorites, and so I thought I would add this one to my list as well. Those are the five books I plan to read for the Feel Good-a-thon at the beginning of June. I also plan to participate in quite a few of the self-care prompts as we go on. I'm feeling pretty good about all of my reading plans for June. I had a little bit of a rougher May, but I'm starting to come out the other side, so 
I am excited to dive in. Let me know in the comments below if you're also participating in the Feel Good Athon and what books you've chosen or prompts you've chosen to fulfill. And I will and I will talk to you guys later.